Hello everyone, uh, this is just a short little video and a few video clips just to show you a few changes that have happened since you were here last. So we're, we want to get ready for next week, so if you just walk with me now and I'll show you some of the changes. Now when you come in next week, you can come in one of three gates. There's a gate at the very back of the school, there's a gate that I came in there on the Summer Hill Road, and there's the gate over near St. Michael's. So it doesn't matter what gate you come in, my mean daddy will decide that. And uh, myself or Mrs. Nally and some of the teachers and SNAs will be at the gates to help you in. Because in the mornings, Mammy and Daddy aren't allowed in. So you can see here on the ground, we put little footsteps, but it'll show you where to stand. So when you come, when you come in in the mornings before the classroom is opened, you just stand on those footsteps outside your entry point. So I'm just going to show you some of the entry points. For room 26 and 27, you can see we line up here, and here we see the language class. They line up there, and then over this side. see the yellow that's for room four and the green over there is for room three and you will go in that the double door there room 26 and 27 go in the single door here your teacher will come out and collect you from these points and bring you in from here so all you have to worry about the first morning is coming in the gate and knowing where to line up which is why we're doing this So room one and room two. Room five and room six. Here we can see room 7 and you notice by the steps on the ground which way you go when the line comes this way so you just follow the steps on the ground to see which way the line goes. Here we have room 8. Room 9 and room 10 and you'll notice that there are barriers and ramps here and since you were here last we got them put in so that people in wheelchairs can get in and out of the classrooms a lot easier. And here we have room 12 and again the footsteps will tell you where you line up and in what direction you go. 
So I'm just going to take a little break now because I have to open up the gates to get to the next part. Okay, welcome back. And now we come to room 13 and the boys and girls from room 13 will have come in from where I stopped the video the last time, just around the back by the all-weather pitch and they'll come in these gates here which will be open in the mornings and then they will line up just outside room 13 and it goes back this way. You can see the green foot there. And now room 14 is over there. You can see the yellow footprints telling you which way to stand. And room 15 here, you can see the red footprints there telling you which way to go. Now Miss Coakley's classroom 16 don't have an outside door, so they would line out outside the back door. And again, you can see the green foot footprints there. And Miss Finn's class would line up here. You can see the yellow. Here we can see room 18, that's Miss Kelly's class. We don't have any footprints on the ground for Miss Kelly's class, but you know the way it goes around there yourself. It just rained and we couldn't get it done. We couldn't get a dry day to get that finished. And around the corner here then, we have room 20 and room 30. So you just line up either side, room 20 this side and room 30 this side. Okay, I'm going to stop now and I'll meet you again then just to show you where room 30 is. we come to room 31. So room 31 lines up outside the hall. You'll see that the number of your class is on the door. And the reason for that is that the, we wouldn't be crossing over with other classes coming in at the back door, like room 20 and room 30. So that's the last class, room 31 outside the hall. Now we come to the yard. And as you can see, the yard has been divided up so every class will be playing just with their own class in a part of the yard. So you can see this is one part of the yard here. And the rest of the yard has been divided up the same. Now to get into the part of the yard that you have to get into, and you don't have to worry now, teacher will show you on Monday and Tuesday and again on Wednesday what part of the yard you're playing with or you're playing in. But to get into the part of the yard then, we just use a walking track. So the walking track is used to get in and out of the part of the yard, but you cannot use the walking track to visit another part of the yard because the idea is that everybody plays with their own class and we can't mix with another class. So the walking track is just for getting in and getting out and you can play over the walking track once you're in. Okay, welcome back now. We're inside now. I just want to show you one classroom which will give you an idea of some of the changes that have happened since you were here last. So the first change you'll see either outside the classroom or inside but nearest the door is there's a sanitizing unit there and you can push that and sanitize your hands and teacher will tell you a little bit more about that about how best to sanitize your hands and what's the correct way of doing it. So every classroom and all the outside do inside the outside doors have sanitizing units and there are some around the school as well over and above that. So let's come into a classroom and see what a classroom might look like that might be different than the last time. So if you have to wash your hands and you have to use the paper towel, underneath the paper towel then we have a bin. And this bin is just specially for paper that from after you wash your hands or maybe paper for when the teacher wipes down some tops. So there's a pedal bin there so you don't have to handle the bin and you can just pull a piece of paper, dry your hands and put it in the bin. 
Okay, if you look at the classroom, you can see it's very similar to before. We have groups of tables like we always had, except sometimes now we might be calling these pods. And the reason we're calling them pods instead of groups is that where possible, you'll be asked to stay with that pod and stay with that group. So you won't be able to get up and walk down and sit beside somebody else unless teacher asks you to. So we're going to try and keep everybody in the same pods. You can see that on the desk set as well, we have a box. So every one of you will have a box and in that box you can put your school bag and put your coat and teacher will tell you what else you can put. And then as well as that, you will have containers. There might be bags or there might be lunch boxes in classrooms. And in those containers then, there'll be different things. So you will have, might have a pencil and pens, scissors, a brush, something that you will be using. So you use that all the time and it goes back into your container, where, whether it's a bag or a lunch box, and nobody else can use that, only you, and you won't be able to use anything else. So instead of having it in the middle of the table, we'll have it in a bag or in a box for you. You might see the little strip there on the ground. Have a look at that. So the idea here is that if a teacher is outside that strip, the teacher will be wearing a face mask. But inside the strip, because you might want to see teacher's lips or teacher's face, inside of it, teacher will wear um, a shield. So you'll be able to see teacher, his or her face within the shield in this area. So teacher can move around in this area and the boys and girls, you can't come into this area. So teacher can move from her desk or his desk to the interactive whiteboard and to the Clarbon or the whiteboard here for, for doing teacher's work. So when teacher's inside this area, he or she will be able to take off their face mask and you'll be able to see their face and their expressions. You can also see that some classrooms, now not everybody has done this, but some classrooms will have a screen there as well, so that if you need to come up to teacher's desk, which may not happen, but if you if teacher needs to talk to you here, that it's, uh, there's a screen between you and the teacher, just to keep everybody safe. Okay, so that's just, all the classrooms look a little bit different, but that will give you an idea of the pods and the other arrangements we've made in every classroom. And when you come to school, teacher will explain all that to you, the first day and the second day and any other days, and you can ask as many questions as you like. Thanks. Okay, just a quick look at the computer room. I won't say too much now. We'll just show you around with the cameras so that you can see we're hoping to continue computer classes and we will have covers for the keyboards as well. There's another little bit of work to do on this, but we'll just show you what it looks like since you were here last. Okay, now we've come to the end of the short video and I'd just like to say that I and my friends here, we're all looking forward to seeing everybody tomorrow. We can't wait, all the teachers, all the staff, can't wait to see everybody again. It's been a long time since we've seen you and we're really, really looking forward to it. So see you all tomorrow.